Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 103 of my Elden Ring playthrough. So Patches must have some fairly significant ties to this manor, because he sends us after an Iron Maiden that sends us here. He tells us to go help the lady um, who gave us the invitation and the note to come here, and he was over here waiting for people of questionable intelligence, is how I'm going to phrase it, to push them off the cliff to stop them from getting to the Volcano Manor. So he clearly is skinning the game. As to why, I couldn't tell you. Let's climb up here. Ah, we can see the manor from over here. There's still a few other places that we need to explore down there. For example, you can see just on the left-hand side of the screen, or on my left screen, on the left-hand side of the 21 by 9 screen, there's a building over there. This keeps going up. Wonderful, it's maze-like. They have fire. We need flask recovery. As I ran past that, I didn't know that, well, I didn't know, no, but I suspected that something could be on the way. Is there something down there? Oh no. You're staring at Lily. Anything else? No. There's a flask back. We need more than just the A. We used a lot on that grafted scion. Okay. So Patches was clearly wanting to stop us from going this way. There's another path over there. We'll have a look down there in a second. This goes up to the next level. Yeah, there's kind of two separate paths here. Nothing? I don't trust when there's nothing. Ah, that's what we missed. See them up there. There's two of them with fire bombs. There's none up there. These two paths go to the same location. I'm kind of expecting that they go to slightly different locations, but they do reconnect, which will allow me to loop around and then go back down. Yeah, because the other one comes up over there. They're alive. I 
I'm not going to get up there. There is zero chance you saw me. I am miles away. They're frenzied. Can't keep going too far back. He's a spear wielder. Well, damn. Why can't I have an attack that's that fast to actuate? I started casting a good half second before he did. Well, now we can go up the other way. Yeah, they're frenzied. Well, it does look like the um, volcano rock does respawn. Which is good to know. Hopefully the grafted scion does not. It doesn't. Good. Well, we were overdue a death. It's been a while. And it's a death to another spear-wielding shield dude. Oh, shield-wielding spear dude. My bane. Okay, let's go this way first. This isn't good. We missed them. For some reason, unlike other enemies, we managed to just Pass right through them. Too slow, never mind. Let's keep ourselves on. Uh, no, we've not got over there yet. That's the bridge. Oh, I know where that is, I think. It's not like um, that guy blowing the horn is what killed me. The thing that got, got, killed me was execution error. And the fact in that that enemy two shot me, more or less. Oh. I should get that just in case it's a smithing stone or something like. Ah, I. Welcome, dear customer. Yes, right this way. Right this way. You know, when you ever say that and talk like that, you really make yourself sound suspicious. Welcome, valued customer. Come, trade in our wandering emporium, please. 
buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please? Uh, okay, so there is stuff that we want. The problem is, we just died. I'll get my souls and come back, so don't worry about it. We'll buy something. We're going to have to come up here, then down the other one, then back up again. It's going to take a little while, but we'll come back. Assuming we don't die, and then we'll just have to use our, um, our loons. Our rune stones, orbs, whatever you want to call them. Okay. So there's our runes. Where was the one tooting the horn? Him over there. Can you go nuts, please? Use your magic. That's what we want. <laughs> we actually don't want to eat the attack. Like that. down. That one down there doesn't care. Fine, that's good. Oh, I forgot. I have a better spell to deal with them. That is... Ah, yeah, that's frenzied stuff. I have Watchman thingy. There we go. There's another side of grace. The assault on the volcano Mada, the squidlin, the sick, the blasphemous, the wretched, unending war with no glory. Well, why do you have to assault them? They just don't want anything to do with you. Okay, so there actually isn't anything up here. Am I missing something? Why allow us to come up? Oh, there's that. That's the only thing that's up here. Okay, well, I guess we go down. And we assault them from behind. If it weren't for the fact that they're going to have supernatural ability to see me, aren't they? Can we get around the back of you? Probably not. See, he's already stood up. I have no idea how he's supposed to know that I'm here. Or he's just scripted to walk forward. to get our runes back. You know what? Let's go full cheese on these guys because I really don't like them. Just release it. <laughs> Charge it. Release.
There we go. If they're going to use a big shield and a long pokey stick, I'm going to hit them with every spell I have. <laughs> okay, now we have to go and buy our things. There's a couple of things up there that are going to jump down. We do need to be going down here. Oh, you did jump down. Uh, let's go down and up. I think that's going to be the safer path. It may actually be the shorter one as well. I wasn't paying attention to what we picked up from them. We should head over to the round table hold at some point. Or to EG, either works. Um, for weapon upgrades. See how far we can get things. Ah, how nice, please. Yes, yes, we'll buy something from you this time. We'll have that, even though we don't think we need it. And we'll definitely have that. Although we'll see what it does first. Volcano pots, rope to volcano pots. And then we have arrows, great arrows, bolts, unlimited supplies thereof, exploding arrows, unlimited supplies of, exploding great bolts, unlimited supplies of, guilty hood, confessor hood. Isn't the confessor one of the starting classes? Too easy. Can we do that? Yes, and we can even do it while continuing to move. Can we craft while on a ladder? That's an interesting question. Uh, we've gone past it. Where are you? We can. Hey, we can make lightning pots now as well. Volcano pots. So these just better fire pots. Creates a heat cloud causing continuous fire damage. Interesting. I'm fairly sure it's slightly easier to do that sort of thing on a um, controller. I go through the menu and things. Because the menu also uses the mouse to navigate it, which of course is the camera. Whereas on a... Um... It wouldn't have let me whistle if I couldn't use it. Does mean we're gonna to have to go past or back past that lot to see what's that way. Do we want to keep going this way first? This is the main route, so no, we don't. Uh, if we can get ourselves to here, then we've explored this area here, and we can start thinking about going alternate directions. That appears to be a secondary way around. This area is a lot more... I suppose that's because it's a mountain. It's a lot more um, complicated in terms of its pathing. Unlike like, um, the Altus Plateau, which is just... It's a flat land. That's what a plateau is. So it's very easy to get from one place to another and to map it out in your head. This one is going any which way. Oh. 
OBS is still running, so it's just the game. Just the game. Well, we've, um, while we're waiting for things to reload, uh, I have done a mem test now, so I'm not fairly sure it's not the RAM that's doing this. I've already um, tried to verify the integrity of the files, and that's not the files, the files aren't corrupt. My best guess is still the PSU, and I have a replacement coming today. Whether or not I'll actually get that installed today is another matter entirely, but I should get it installed tomorrow. Okay, good. That's all loaded fine. Okay, so let's head the non-main pathway. Ah, they have pre prevented, presented us with a nice little route all the way around this entire encampment. Oh, demi-humans. More demi humans. I'm guessing we're heading towards a cave of some description. You're a bigger dude, and you look like you've locked onto me. And there's a cave there. Who or what were you jumping at? One cave. Well, as much as I like exploring the open air, it is about time we got into another cave-ish situation. Let's see what's in here and whether or not it's a um... Oh right, yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, can we do that now? We can't, but we can teleport back in. If we sneak up, just find the location where we can teleport again. And like merchant. Patches hasn't appeared up here yet. Okay. I can't think of any change that would have happened here. Uh, we haven't got any sevens to give to them. Well. I took you for dead, no matter it's lay out your own. Okay. Ah, damn it. Still need more. Got a bunch of fives, though. So we can get one of these up to, um... In fact, we can get two of them up. Up to the next tier of smithing stones. So which one is main hand one? This one. Okay, and I don't want to spend those so that we can get this up to 14 once we get it past smithing stone four. I mean, we probably have a bunch of sevens. We probably could have pushed one of these way high, but I don't want to do that. Somber smithing stones. 
Now, we don't have any ones. That's why a lot of these are blanked out. But no, I think we was looking at weapons that we could spend some of the smithing stones on to bring them up. For example, we could equip these two straight swords if we wanted to. It wouldn't be a terrible idea because these scale relatively well with the stats that we use. Well, actually, no, this one doesn't because it's strengthening. Wasn't there a couple of curved swords? Ah, yeah. We have been leveling this one up. We'd have to find a, something that we could pair it with. Anyway, that'll do for now. And yeah, we've no reason to suspect anything as here in here has changed. So let's get back. to the Volcano Cave. Okay. Um, let's reset that, reset that. really want to be using our mana if we can avoid it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, with that many enemies, there's, there's space. Actually, no, don't be so worried about your spending of mana. We have four pots now for a reason. directions that we can go. Hmm. Sneaky. I hadn't seen this at all. Probably use a better light source then. If this is going to be filled with extra sneaky paths. So I am betting a queen and a chief is the boss. are way too weak to be here. There's a chief, or a smaller version thereof. Oh. 
Yeah, I think they're just planning to overwhelm us with numbers down here. That's the ultimate goal. It's not a matter that any individual one of these enemies is going to be hard. How do we get over there then? A boss wall already? I'm not going to, um... How much mana do we have? Sixty-five. That's enough to summon things. We're going to have to immediately refresh. I'm not going to use my pots. Not because I don't think what behind here is dangerous. But because I think there's going to be another one further in and this is a bait to get me to use it. The name of this item tells me everything I need to know about it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, maybe that is the entire cave. That's an incredibly short cave. Can we get up there? It was jumping the only way to get up there. I don't even think we can make that jump. I mean, if we fall, I think that kills us. Oh, wait, we can make that jump. I'm an idiot. It's not a jump, it's a drop. You drop from here to here. I didn't mean to change that weapon. Or did I just already have that weapon equipped and I forgot? Okay. Items. Coil shield. Sliver of meat. Well, that's this now explored. Let's read the canon. <laughs> this is an item we need to read. Okay, counts as a blister. Makes sense. Jar Cannon, which uses explosives um, to fire great bolts. Deals great damage, but is slow to reload. Experimental firearm brought to, assault, uh, brought to the assault on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. <laughs> I can see that being a um, multiplayer meme item. <laughs> Like the rolling armor. There's two little guys. 
know the little guys. Oh, they're actually ahead of us. Okay, let's just run past these guys. Head back over the bridge. Uh, we could have just teleported, but then it would have done a reload, so yeah. Running is probably just as fast at this point. As long as I don't run off. Okay. Going up. Oh. Hello. We'll do what we did last time. I rolled. We're not getting many good hits on it. Suppose it being made of stone isn't helping. What are you doing? Hold still. I rolled into that because I was trying to roll away from the other attack. Oh, fully grown. I didn't realize it was more of a nasty thing. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. That's the problem here. Whoa! Nice one, two, but I disagree that that second attack wasn't... or that my roll was out of time with that attack. Okay. We're gonna need to... think about this a little bit more carefully. It's a fully grown thingy. Um, I mean, we can try to use this. I don't know whether it will do as much in the way of good. If it's going to be that mobile and that annoying, then I think... Burb? I think we bring Burb. Uh, if you go up the stairs, you get an indication that something's going to happen when you get to the top. Okay, we will use that. There go my souls. That is nasty. It's for, its initial attack is always a charge. Which means it gives you zero chance to prepare but when you get up there. Ah, we forgot to sleep at the... or touch the nearby fire. Okay, no, we did. Okay. <laughs> that is mean. Very mean. Although there's nothing to stop us from staying on horseback. Oh, 
other than it. There goes the horse. Charge isn't aimed at me, but that doesn't mean it's not going to come my way. And I roll. I disagree that I didn't roll. We have to use that and two-hand it, otherwise we're just not going to do any damage. Flask not quick enough. This thing is no slouch compared to everything else. But it's also not insurmountable. I don't feel like the game is screwing me over. Just that I've not found and used the correct option yet to deal with it. Uh, where the hell is it? There they are. Torrent out. Okay. Let's stick with the net. The net did better. Oh. off horseback so we can two-hand this. Oh, come on! How the hell am I supposed to run away from the second one? I suppose not get hit by the first one. Leave her alone. her alone. No, that like, comes down. It's the down that hurts. game come on no crashes yesterday and now you've crashed twice what the hell why is it suddenly so unstable unstable i could see the victory in that fight and now you're forcing me to play it again working on the assumption it isn't just going to corrupt the save file if it keeps this up it will corrupt the save file
Okay. Let's not use that. I mashed that button three fucking times, game. And suddenly it turns around and attacks me. I'm the bigger threat. Again, how was that dodge roll out of time? That I understand. That should have hit me though. Is this a one hit? It isn't, but it's probably down long enough for it to one hit me. That wasn't the button I pressed. I didn't press anywhere near that button. Which is a lie, I must have done. My keyboard isn't bad. How was that not a great enemy? Hell of a fight. Five Smith and Stone Sixes, Fallen Star Beast Jaw. Ooh. Well, have we got back half the souls we lost? We're not going to get anywhere else from here except this way. Let's pick them up just to take them off the map. As you really okay we're covered from the arrows which means we can deal with them first kind of wish there was a Oh, can you keep doing that? Because you're going to fall off in a second. Okay. And now we've got him.
on my intent to make a shorter episode today, but we've kind of reached the end of this path. And starting down another one isn't going to get us much more. Haven't we already grabbed that? I think we've already grabbed that. Maybe we haven't, though. We did, uh, I think we ran past all of this, but I can't remember if we actually sweeped past this. Yeah, we did grab this in the way past. So we may not, f may not have fully explored this area, but we have definitely already been here. So with that in mind, we need to loop back around because there's two other paths for us to take. We'll take this one next. We still have a um, cave there that we can go down, so we've got a path along here. Yeah, we'll take this one next, so let's get up to this point here and see whether or not we can actually get from here over there. Let's have a look at this weapon, though. It was a weapon. I think it was a Fallen, fallen Star Beast weapon of some description. There it is. Colossal weapon, Fallen Star Beast Jaw, Dexterity and... Oh no, sorry, Strength and Faith. Strength and Int. Read, Nathan, read. Part of the Fallen Star Beast Jaws. Hard and shimmering black, fashioned into a weapon. Um, with its sharp point, this colossal weapon makes... Oh, uh, this colossal weapon can skewer foes. Gravity Bolt, special ability. <laughs> Okay. Is that three deaths today? Yeah, it might be four. I think we died to the Fallen Star Beast three times and then once to something else. Hero's grave. Interesting, that's not where they appeared. And there's another wolf there. We killed that one. There's a white wolf before that. Okay, so we can't get from here over there. This is a hero's grave. Yes, I think it is. This is the last episode of the week, isn't it? Well, we can get a screenshot from somewhere around here. Oh, 
Where's the earth tree? High time we signed off. There we go. Yes, this is innocuous enough. People will be able to recognise from the stone formations roughly where I am. Which is kind of the point. This is where I ended up this week. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll call it there for the show. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow with Hard Space Shipbreakers. Some more relaxing deconstruction of spacefaring vessels that could blow up at any second or wrong move. But anyway, we'll be back in with this next Monday. Until then, hopefully, I'll see you next time. Cheerio.